Hi everyone, I'm your Bini Bini 20, Catriona Elisa Magnayon Gray from Albay. Growing up, I really had the best of two worlds. With my father being Australian and my mother being Filipina, I was immersed in a cohesion of cultures. I remember being an only child, the house was usually quiet, but every school holiday we would travel to the Philippines to be with our huge family. And to spot my family in a crowd, you just have to listen for the loudest laugh. So it was quite a contrast to my usual quiet family setting. But the festivity and family are some of my most fondest memories of my childhood. I am so blessed to have an amazing childhood and I'm very close to my two parents, my mother and my father. And growing up, I always thought that my dad was like Superman, that he was invincible. Like he always knew what to do, uh, he knew so many things, he was always so wise and I felt like nothing could go up against him. And when I was 15, my father was diagnosed with cancer and that's when my world just flipped upside down. And seeing him go through the whole process of going through chemotherapy, seeing him battle with the fatigue and the emotional and physical exhaustion, he would always keep saying, I'm going to beat this. It doesn't matter about the journey. All that matters is the destination. And that destination is that I'm going to beat this. And even though his body wasn't invincible, his mind always was. And up until now, at 73 years old, cancer-free, my dad is still my superman. I am so passionate about charity work and for the last couple of years, I have fundraised and advocated for various causes, two causes that are very close to my heart. The first being collaborating with the Love Yourself organization, which is an amazing organization run by volunteers that work to provide support, treatment and education to the general public in regards to AIDS and HIV. And HIV. I was, had the amazing honor to work with and also host and be a part of the recently concluded Love Gala that happened on World AIDS Day in 2016. And it was so amazing because I have been drawn to this cause ever since someone close to me passed away suddenly at such a young age from the disease. And to see people from all these walks of life come together, congregate to celebrate life and love was just an amazing thing to be a part of. My second cause is, of course, working with the Young Focus organization in Tondo, Manila. I am so proud because at the beginning of my working relationship with the organization, we were looking for a building to convert into a child care center. And we found this rundown set of apartments um, located in Tondo, Manila, which is a three-story building. And to see its transformation, we have since fundraised to be able to purchase and refurnish it. And I'm so proud to say that it opened last year for the school year of 2016, and it has been enlightening young minds ever since. So I'm just so proud about that. And a new project that I'm working on is in providing us music program because I have a love for music. So I'm working to get access to, for the children to have access to musical instruments so that hopefully a love for music can blossom in their hearts also. I would say some of the things that make me unique are I can handle myself scaling off a cliff face because I love outdoor recreation. I could even handle myself in a kayak. I have a black belt in Choi Kwon Do that I got when I was 12 years old, so no one pick a fight with me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but um, I can handle myself. And more than anything, I love music, ever since I was a young girl. And I just fell in love with singing at a very young age. And if you guys like, I would like to give you a little sample. This is a song that I love because it just celebrates femininity and it just makes me feel powerful. Ever since I met you, uh, a life was so unkind. But you're the key to my peace of mind. You make me feel, you make me feel, you make me feel like a natural woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking 
most forward to about being a Beanie Beanie is to be part of the legacy. There is such a magical thing about sharing this platform with all of the amazing, empowered, influential, modern Filipino women who have stood before us. And it's also amazing to be just a part of that, to be able to also challenge yourself as a Beanie Beanie to pioneer and spearhead what you're passionate about, advocacies that are close to your heart. And because first and foremost, BPCI is a charitable organization. I am so excited to be a part of the new generation of empowered women who redefine what being a modern Filipino beauty queen is all about.